Shell tacos. No, we were going to talk about peanut butter and jelly tacos. Hard shell peanut butter. We can talk about tents, but talk about hard shell peanut butter and jelly tacos anyway. Okay. So, hard shell peanut butter and jelly tacos. How do you think they're made? With, with laser eyes. What? Yeah, totally with laser eyes. Um, no, I think you just take a hard shell. No. And then you spread peanut butter on one side no. and spread jelly on the other side. No. Or you like dump like a bunch, or you dump a few spoonfuls of peanut butter in there and a few spoonfuls of jelly in there. No. All right. That's not true. Okay, how do you make a hard shell PB and J taco? First, you take a soft shell taco and you put some some peanut butter on it, and then you you. Turn it 180 degrees, not upside down, it's like like a clock, rolly, and, you all and the way around. And then you put some jelly on it. So the left side is peanut butter and the right side is jelly. No, the, the, the top side is peanut butter and the other top side is jelly. Okay, Mimi. And then you fold the sides up and then you fold it in half. And then, and then you, you cook it up with your laser eyes. What if you cook it with uh, something other than laser eyes? L like put them in an oven. Or like use a laser pointer. That doesn't heat them up. <laughs> well, the ones from the year 2039 in timeline variant 376B. They were hot enough to heat up tacos. Unfortunately, if you keep them on a taco for any more than 20 minutes, it sets on fire. So the taco sets on fire, not the laser pointer. So um, don't do that if that happens to be the future timeline we go down. Okay, you, you have a point there. <laughs> but our guests are going to have to use their laser eyes because they don't have those... Those like heated laser pointers from the future alternate timeline. Yep. So enjoy this nice description instructional on how to make hard shell peanut butter and jelly tacos. Okay, what if you don't have laser eyes? What are you talking about? Everybody here has laser eyes. Um, I'm just gonna name a random name and if someone happens to have a username. <laughs> what if um um, uh, oh jeez, uh, nobody, what, yeah, if, that, um, that's because everybody has laser eyes, what if, what if Justin, Justin Y comes onto this video and doesn't have laser eyes, what about, he doesn't have, Justin Y doesn't have laser eyes, Justin Y totally has laser eyes. Justin Y, if you're watching this video for some reason, please tell us whether or not you have laser eyes. He does. How do you know? Because everybody has laser eyes. Everybody knows this. Because they all have laser eyes. That's why it's in the instructions to, to use your laser eyes to to make the make the soft shell taco what? Okay, a hard shell what taco. if what if um remember how uh, we discovered that blind people can't use their laser eye powers? Uh, what if someone is watching this and is blind and cannot use their laser eye powers? Then they get someone else to make their tacos. Hmm. But what if? Or they hire someone, or they figure out a whole different way that I haven't thought in like five Use seconds of thinking about it. Use your oven. Heat it up in the oven. N no. Heat it up on the stove. 
stove. No, that's not in the instructions, though. Those are alternate options if you don't have laser eyes and don't know anybody who does have laser eyes. But that's for alternate, alternate timelines from this one. Everybody here has laser eyes, so it's totally cool. In this timeline? Yeah. Which timeline are... Okay, which timeline are we in, Mimi? We're in laser eye timeline. No. What is the name of it? What laser are it's... eye. It's because everyone has laser eyes. No, 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 Mimi, you forgot. Remember, uh, what is its scientific name? The three numbers uh, and then the letter. It's not important. No, tell us. I, I lost it when I was on a deserted island. It was a secret, it was a piece of paper, and I lost it on the island. You, you remember the, the, the of this timeline. Laser eye timeline. We're in timeline 001A, Mimi. Uh, laser eye timeline is 001B. Maybe. Point is, we're not on the laser eyes timeline, Mimi. What? What do you mean? We better check. We better check the timeline device. Uh, timeline device zero zero one A. Well, that's not the laser eye. That's man. That just that just ruined everything. No. Now we have to use the alternate instructions for this timeline. We have to use the throw them in the oven. That's so silly. Instead of using your laser eyes, throw them in the oven. Laser eyes are totally the, the way to do it. They taste the best. Unfortunately, uh, no one in this timeline has laser eyes. Except for uh, except for anyone with magic, then they might have laser eyes. We're not well, counting fictional characters. Well, for you who we have, have laser eyes, eyes, this is for you. Wait. What if there's a robot that has laser eyes? Well then they can make everybody's ta la um, tacos. Peanut hard shell peanut butter and jelly tacos. They can make I them. How many task to if she has laser eyes? Maybe. Like I mean, she's a robot and she wasn't made with laser eyes. But also she has self-awareness and the ability to use magic, so it's possible she figured out the magic to use laser eyes. She figured out the magic to use pyrokinesis on her own, and uh... It, well, if she did, I, last time I saw her was way before that ever happened. You taught her pyrokinesis, didn't you? Maybe a little, maybe I showed her the right book to read. <laughs> Maybe I didn't have anything to do with it at all. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. I was just trying to teach her how to make some tacos. Why don't you? Why'd you teach her pyrokinesis instead of general telekinesis? Telekinesis doesn't doesn't turn your soft shell tacos into hard shells. Using general telekinesis, you can mimic the effects of pyrokinesis by wiggling things fast enough to create fire. But, the, but that doesn't involve lasers from your eyes. Oh, that the cooks point your is food. It cooks your food so well, too. It doesn't even destroy it. It doesn't make it a big blob when you're done shaking it. The real question it is, doesn't who taught him? It doesn't destroy all the stuff. Water and it doesn't rip apart the nutrients and it doesn't swear at you either. Wait, what? Some some ways to heat things up do that. They're, they're not nice. That's in that's in alternate worlds and timelines. Also. Yeah, that's in. Uh, I think that uh, the one I can most notably think of is two eighty three. Z, where fire swear at you, except no one knows that they're swear words. They think they're just fire noises because they use a different language where, um, uh, they where a certain swear word is is not a swear word and instead just an onomatopoeia for the sound fires make. Hey, that, <laughs> that was the world where that was a very uncomfortable timeline, that was especially considering 90% of the planet was covered in volcanoes. That was the timeline world where Emberfoot came from. 
Yeah, and we put the fire the fire squirrel. Yeah, we would have brought her with us, but it turns out it's too cold in North Dakota. Well, okay, we did bring her with us. Whoa, geese. Oh, I think we missed the geese, Mimi. Well, we're getting all the ones that are walking in the road. It's a goose migration by foot. How many are there? Oh, geez. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't count. <laughs> There's too many of them. I can't count them very. I can't count them fast enough. There was a lot of geese. Yes. The correct answer is a lot of geese. Actually, uh,. We normally delete the video parts, but we'll have to keep that part. No, we won't. There weren't any cute little baby ones. No one wants to see regular adult geese. They're like, get a job, geese. Get a job. Go, go fly around and I could swear and there was something. a baby goose in there. There might have been. I don't know. We'll have to watch this again. Was that? I missed my parking spot. Oh no, Mimi. This looks like a good spot. We were talking about something before uh, the geese. We were talking about tents, remember? No, we were uh, magic. And tents. Oh, and Emberfoot. I can put up my tent with the magic. The tent line which Emberfoot came from. Yeah, don't ever make a peanut butter and jelly hard shell taco in your tent because your laser eyes might burn through the, your tent and then you'll have to patch it up. <laughs> Anyways, this is the end of the... Uh, anyways, we're at our destination. We'll have to end the episode here. I hope you guys learned absolutely nothing about tents. Or you could have learned how to make PB&J hard shell tacos. And also about uh, the scientific numbers of some timelines. Okay, bye! Also, Emberfoot backstory for those of you who care. They don't. They only care what you would bring with on a deserted island. I still say the correct answer is boat. No, it's command off. Bye!